everyone, welcome to my first official makeup tutorial YouTube video. Today I'm going to be recreating my Year's Eve glam makeup look, which is on the screen. And it's pretty much just a glowy, grungy skin look with like a rose gold glittery eye. So I'm going to be recreating that today and I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to start with primer. I like to do my primer first let that settle into my skin and I do my eyes, especially because I get like full out in my eyes. And then I go do my eyes and I go back to my face, obviously. Continue. So for primer, I'm gonna be using the Benefit Professional in the Hydrating version. It's a new one, it's really good actually, so highly recommend. And I'm just gonna put that pretty much all over my face, just to give a good pore minimizing effect but also hydrating at the same time, which is very helpful for my dry skin. So I'll just spread that all over, but especially like the T-zone. Can get a little bit oily there. And a little bit on my forehead. But also before I do my eyes, I always use a lip balm so that when I put on like lipstick and stuff, it, my lips aren't all crispy and crusty and dry, so. I use the Dermal Lip Balm, it's really really good, it's like the only lip balm that I've actually noticed a difference in like the hydration of my lips. So I'll just pop that on. Perfect. Now we are going to do our eyes. So I always prime my eyes before I put on any eyeshadow or anything. So usually for like a full glam look I'll use a full coverage matte concealer. So I'm going to use the Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C1. It's a pretty light, like, yellowy shade. And I'm just going to put, like, a two little, like, dollops of that on my eye eyelids because um it is really, really full coverage. So a little goes a long way. You don't need a lot. And then to blend that out, I'm going to use the Zoeva Concealer Buffer Brush. It's the 142. Now to set that concealer and before we start with the eyeshadow, I'm going to use a light um, like skin coloured eyeshadow that's going to set it and the eyeshadow, that I'm, eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam. I'm obsessed with this palette. It's very well loved and I use it for like every day and also like really glam looks. So I'm going to use my Zoeva. Lux Soft Definer Brush, it's the 227, also in the Rose Gold collection from the brushes. And I'm going to be dipping into the shade Tempera, which is the like light skin colorish shade. I'm just going to use that to set the concealer all over the eyelid. So just a good base for the rest of the eyeshadow. Making sure that it's not going to budge at all throughout the night. Okay, now I'm going to be using my usual transition shades from the palette, which is Orange so Soda and Burnt Orange. I'm just going to mix them together, make my own ideal transition. Just tap off the excess. I'm just going to work that into the crease. And just sort of like blend it throughout to make it really like diffused. Not harsh looking at all. And then obviously doing the same for the other side. As you can just see it's a really nice light orangey brownie shade. Okay, now the transition is done. So we're going to use, now we're gonna do more of a halo eye with some darker shades. So to do that, I'm going to use the Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease, crease brush in the 231. It's just like a smaller, more angled brush, which we're just going to use for the halo. And we're going to use the shades Sienna and Mulberry. We're just going to mix those two together. I'll show you what they look like. They're just really like warm, reddish, brownish shades. And just like tap off the excess. So we're just going to do like the inner corner, like inner area, and the outer. Just pack that on with the 
Luxe Petite Crease Brush and then we're going to blend it in with the um, Luxe Soft Definer. Make it really diffused, just like make it like nice and bold and smoky. And then we'll go in with the glitter. So I'm going to do that now. So that's what it's looking like now before I've even blended it. And it's looking really nice and warm. So you can kind of see that halo effect. And it can be kind of messy in this process because after we've blended it, we're just going to cover the lid area with the glitter. So you want to make sure it's like blended and diffused, but it can be kind of messy with the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to blend that out. And I'll occasionally like go in with those same colors just to make sure it's like really pigmented still. But definitely the trick to this look is making sure that you're constantly blending it because you don't want it to be harsh. Or and since my brush is pretty dirty now, I'm going to want to blend out like the top, like above the eyeshadow where it's sort of like a little bit like harsh still. So I'm just going to clean the brush with um, my Sephora collection like brush cleaner spray. I'm just going to spray two or three sprays of that onto some tissue, just clean the brush just so like I can use like a nice clean brush to um, like diffuse the top area of my eye more. Okay, so I'm done with the blending and you can definitely see the halo is coming along. So now we're going to do the glitter, which is the most exciting and fun part of the whole look. And I'm going to be using the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Rose Gold Retro. I use this for New Year's Eve. So I'm just going to be putting this more on like the center of my eye, on the lid area where I haven't really put much shadow. Just so you can see like the halo, um, like the shadows I put on and then you can see like the glitter in the middle and it like leaves a really cool effect. So I'm going to be putting about two coats of this glitter on, just like leaving the first one, putting the first one on, leaving it for it to dry and then doing like another coat to make it a bit more pigmented. Also, when you're putting this on, make sure that you don't really go too far in or out with the glitter. Like, you don't really want to go into where you put the really dark, um, like, warm brown shades. You just want to leave it on, like, the center of the lid. Keep it minimal. Like, obviously, spread it out. And then, once you've, like, applied as much as, of the glitter as you want, um, just keep your eye closed. And don't open it because then it will transfer onto the like top eyelid. And just like blend out the edges as well. Could be the tonight, no so that's the one coat done. Okay, so that's about as far as in as I'm gonna go with the glitter. As you can see I've covered most of the lid but not where I've put the darker um, halo shades. So I'm just gonna let that dry. I used before the Lux Soft Definer just to blend out and diffuse the edges of that a bit. You can like use your finger as well if you have like any like sort of soft brush. But now that I've finished the main eyeshadow for the top eyelid area um, and it's all dry and it's looking good. So for eyeliner I'm going to use the Quick Flick Modest 10 millimeters. I've used it for months. I even had the small size, but I like a really dramatic wing. So I'm gonna use this one for today. And it's just like a right and left for each wing. So it's got like a stamp on one side. And then like a normal eyeliner on the other side. So I'm just gonna apply that to both eyes, obviously. And then I'll show you what it looks like. So I've got the flip on and I've made a bit of a mistake in the inner corner 
of my eyeliner so whenever I make a mistake which is 99% of the time I use the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water and like a Q-tip. What I do is I just drench the Q-tip in the Micellar Water and I just go in and wipe away whatever mistake I've made and then I like if I need to reapply the eyeshadow in that area I'll do that and then like the eyeliner and then um yeah it usually fixes up all my mistakes pretty damn well. Okay so I've got my eyeliner done and it is pretty thick and pretty dramatic but honestly this is what I'd what I'd usually do. So yes now I'm going to move on to lashes and for lashes I usually like a really dramatic long winged like lash look so I'm using these ones from Tarte I've used them once before they're really pretty they're called girl boss so I'm just going to apply these off camera like I did with my eyeliner because I just need to focus and like you probably wouldn't be able to see anything so yes and I'll show you what they look like when they're on also forgot to mention the lash glue I use is the duo lash glue in the like clear shade um, and it's just like a twisty it's a very unique one but I find it really easy to just like apply on the lash band so I've got my lashes on and I'm loving them they look so good like the difference the lashes make is like unbelievable so like nice and wispy and long obsessed okay so now while I'm waiting for the lash like the lash glue to dry I'm gonna move on to my face and I'll come back and I'll put some mascara on just to like mesh my natural lashes with my falsies in a few minutes so because I've already got my primer on I could just move straight on to foundation so for foundation this is the one I've been using for like a year and it's my favorite fake tan foundation so it's the NARS Shea Glow in the shade Vanuatu which is medium 3.5 so the lashes are on and I'm obsessed. They look so nice and long and wispy and they're perfect for a full glam makeup look. One other thing before I put foundation on um, is I normally use a green colour correcting concealer to just conceal around my nose and some redness if I'm going for like a more full coverage look since I do have quite a bit. So I'm going to be using the Naked Skin um, by Urban Decay in the shade Green which is just going to colour correct the redness for a full coverage look. Be applying this like I said like around my nose and on my cheeks a bit where I tend to get pretty red and also on my chin and I do apply that quite a bit but while I look crazy now I won't look crazy when the foundation is on. I'm gonna blend that out with my beauty blender which is the Real Techniques one it needs to be replaced, but it's great for this. So just make sure you blend that right out. So for foundation, this is the one I've been using for like a year and it's my favorite fake tan foundation. So it's the NARS Shea Glow in the shade Vanuatu which is medium 3.5. Clip back my fringe because I don't want to get foundation in my hair. Um, so yes I'm ready to do foundation now. Just use like a few little pumps to start and I can always add more. Probably just going to use the Morphe brush today. I really like this foundation because it's like medium to full coverage it can look natural on an everyday basis or you can build it up for a more glam look and I really like the NARS face products like they're really nice and they work really nicely on like a lot of different skin types so if you haven't tried this one definitely recommend it. It lasts me really well for like a night out still looks like really nice and glowy not matte which is good for me because I have dry skin and so I'll apply this like pretty much full coverage for me like just as long as my redness is covered and I've got like a nice even base just blend it down my neck as well like one thing I hate is when people don't blend foundation down their neck and it's like a line around the jaw it's like ugh, girl 
get rid of it. However, when I'm not tanned, I use a different foundation, which I don't really use as much because honestly, like, I'm tanned all the time now. Um, I use the Laura Messier Flawless one, my Flawless Luminaire, in like a really pale shade. I sometimes mix that with this one if I'm, if my tan's starting to fade. So I recommend that if you like fake tan as well and like you're usually tanned, you can mix your, you can have like a pale foundation and a tan foundation, you can mix them together. Make sure you blend it into your hairline, around your ear a bit. Just yeah, really press that foundation into your skin with a foundation brush or if you prefer like a beauty blender or your fingers, whatever works for you. Okay, so next up I do eyebrows. I sometimes change this step up, like I just kind of do whatever I feel like doing, but I feel like I like to leave my foundation on my skin just to like sink in before I powder and everything. So eyebrow pencil that I always use is the Benefit Precisely My Brow in the shade like 4, no, 4.5 or 5, like I usually just kind of like whatever I have. And I use this spoolie end first just to like comb out my brows just to like, I don't know, set them up, get them ready. And then I'll like fill in my brows with the pencil side. I've literally had this brow pencil like, I've had to rebuy it like so many times, it's my favourite. But yeah, for brows I usually don't go to tan like the rest of my face surprisingly I'm not like super into brows probably because my fringe usually covers my brows so I don't really care about them as much as my other like my eyes or the rest of my face when I'm doing my brows I usually just like fill in any sparse areas that don't have like any color really and I sort of do that evenly throughout the whole brow maybe like put a bit more on the tail and like if it's looking a bit harsh or a bit messy around some areas I'll get my spoolie back and brush it through. You want to make them look as natural as possible. Okay so once my brows are done I will usually go in with like a brow gel just to set them in place and especially if I'm doing full glam I like to just make them a little bit bushy. So I use the Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt. In the past I've had like the Benefit 24 hour one, but now I've just like decided to try one that's coloured. And this is the shade 260 Deep Brown. Okay, so I've got my brows on. Looking good. So now I'm going to put some mascara on just to mesh my eyelashes with the natural ones and usually I'll use two different mascaras I'll use the volume million lashes in extra black by L'Oreal and my Maybelline roller lash but today I'm just going to use the L'Oreal one because I don't really need to use two when I've got falsies on but when I do it for every day I usually use the two so I'll just put a light coat more on the base just to like make them look a bit like a bit natural, a bit less fake. Okay, now we're going to move on to concealer, which I definitely need because I've got quite dark under eyes. So I'm going to be using the Hourglass Vanish in the shade Cotton, which looks like this. So I'm just going to do a few little dots under my eyes. I usually don't like to put too much concealer under my eyes just because my eyes are pretty dry. Um, but like, if we're going full black, I kind of need to. And then I'll just like highlight a bit of my nose. I just like to do the tip in like that area. And then my chin, a few little dots there. And I'll leave that now. And then I'll go on to my like main face concealer. That's just more, more for like my actual color of my face, like around my nose. And I'll use the Maybelline Fit me in the shade light. I'll just put that around my nose in the center of my chin. The hourglass one is more for highlighting and the Maybelline one is more just for like redness. So I'm going to use the Dirty Green Beauty Blender. I 
And when I'm doing my concealer, I just make sure that I get a really sharp line around my eyeliner just to make it like really crisp and precise. I'll go into like the inner area of my eye because I have pretty like bad discoloration there. And I'll like kind of bring the concealer down just to like make it more highlighted and brightening. You can see now all that green color correcting concealer I've put on is like blended out and you can't even see it. Um, I'll just press that beauty blender into my skin to try and make the concealer look as less cakey as I can. And sometimes I'll get my Zoeva concealer buffer brush just to get around my eyes in the areas that the beauty blender can't reach around my nose or wherever it needs to be a bit more perfected. And I could go another layer with the concealer under my eyes but like I said I've got dry eyes and I don't really like to put too much otherwise it looks too cakey so I'm just gonna have to leave it there for today and then before my concealer creases I'm going to use my hourglass mineral veil translucent setting powder I'll just get some of that on the lid and then I'll use my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill J H07, which is just a like powder on dry brush. And I'll just like get a little bit of that powder, put it under my eyes. So when I'm doing this, I will also put the powder anywhere where I put the concealer just to make sure that the concealer is set. And probably bring it around my T zone as well. But other than that, I won't really set my whole face just because, like I said, it is so dry. And I don't really want it to look cakey and it's looking pretty nice and glowy at the moment. And I'm going to put more glowy products on it so I don't want to make it look matte at all. I'll probably do my under eye eyeshadow now. So I'm going to use the Zoeva crease brush again. And I'm just going to get like a mixture of all the shades that I use. The orange soda, burnt orange and the sienna shade. Just like get a mixture of those four colours. Tap it off. And I'm going to like focus this more on the outer bit of my bottom eyelid, my lower lash line I mean. I'm just going to like blend it out. Like I'll bring it into about like just where my eyelashes stop, if that makes sense. Like from the end to about midway so it ties the look more together and I'll just blend it out and make sure it's not harsh or anything. Okay, so that's the eyes done. Really happy with how it turned out. So now to bronze myself up a bit more. The cream contour, cream bronze. I'm using the Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Contour. I really love this. It makes my face look so bronzed and dark, which I love. So I'm just going to put that under my cheekbones. Like so. Bring it up around my temples really messy with this but like it doesn't matter once you blend it out I'll go up my forehead a bit and I'll do the same on the other side sometimes I'll go around my nose for a bit of a nose contour but usually honestly probably not and then I'll go under my jawline like so and then I will get either my Zoeva foundation brush or my Zoeva face shape in one pen which is like a brush specifically for contouring and I'll just blend that out, like pat it into the skin, work upwards, make sure it's like just hugging the cheekbone. You don't want to go too low or too high. I'll sort of like work the nose contour up the sides of my nose a bit, just to give that more definition and like a uh, look of like a skinnier nose. Just make sure it's all blended in really well. So you don't want it looking like awkward lines at all. Like make sure you also blend it into your hairline a bit. So it just like doesn't look like you've just plastered on a mask. And when I'm blending this bronzer down my jaw, I'll also like bring it under my chin a bit just to give like also the look of like if you want to eliminate any chins you've got. Like, I can't have a double chin, so I just like to make it look a bit more sculpted. Literally, like, blending is, like, the number one thing. So looking nice and bronzy now. 
Now to bring that glow to the next level, I'm going to go with a liquid highlighter, which is also my favourite step. I use the Mecha Max Liquid Light in Gold, and pretty much I just put this on my cheekbones, like above the bronzer. I'll just do like three little drops, or four, just like put it right there, and I'll put it on the tip of my nose, where I put my concealer before to brighten, I'll put like a drop on my nose, a drop on my like top part of my nose, cupid's bow, a little bit on my chin. And then to blend this out, I usually use my finger because I find that it just makes it like settle into the skin like the nicest. I'll just like very lightly tap it. Sort of bring that highlight above my brow. And this Mecha Max one is like so good because it's like cheap, lasts a long time. There's a range of different colours you can choose from, but as you can tell, I'm more of a golden undertone with the golden girl. And when the lights hit that glow, it's so good. Okay, and as you can see, that's just like so nice. So now just to set that bronzer in, I'm going to be using the Benefit Hula bronzer. I've got the mini one. And I'm just going to put like a little bit of that just on top of where I put the Clinique Cream Bronzer. I'm going to be using the Zoeva Sheer Luxe Sheer Cheek. I'm just going to get a little bit of that because it is really, really pigmented. I'm not going to put too much because I don't want to look too crazy, but I'll just sort of blend that on top of the Clinique one just to set it pretty much. I'll go around my nose as well, pretty messily. Under my jaw, down my neck. Also, like around this time, I would um, use some of the Mario Badescu hydrating mist just to make my face look a bit less powdery. So, yeah, I'll just make it like really, really nice and bronzy. I love this brush, it's like so easy to apply. Also, gonna be using it for blush today. Also, you could use like a liquid blush or a like cream blush before doing your powders, but I personally don't. I'm not really a huge fan of blush, so I don't really use a lot, if any, like most days I don't even use blush. But when I do, I'll use the NARS Orgasm blush. And it's a really nice like pink shimmery shade. You've probably seen or heard of it before. I'll just like usually only use like a little bit of this just like where I put my bronzer, but like more on my cheeks. Blend it up to my temples. Don't really go to ham on blush, like I said I don't really use it, but this is a really nice like shimmery blush. So it's looking pretty nice and glowy now. And then I'm going to use a powder highlighter just to set the Mecha Max liquid highlighter that we used earlier. So I usually use like various different highlighters, but today I'm going to be using my OG Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And as you can see my Golden shades are very well loved, so I'm just going to be using probably a mixture of all of them because that's what I usually do. But before I do that, I'm going to do my setting spray, which I use the Urban Decay All Nighter. And I like to put this on before my highlighter because I like to make my face like tacky and wet so the highlighter sticks. Spray quite a bit of that. So let it sink in. Then I get my highlighter brush, which is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH09. I'm just going to dip it into like all those shades from the highlighting palette and then I will spray the brush with the setting spray to make it nice and wet. And then it gives like the most yes, glow. Just put that like everywhere where you put the liquid highlight. Bridge, keep it bow. First time. Okay, and that's my face done. And now for the last step is the lips. Now my favourite combo is the MAC Boldly Bear Lip Liner, the MAC Velvet Teddy Matte Lipstick, and the Hourglass Unreal Lip Gloss in the shade Cosmic. And I just apply these as my 
like usual nude glossy combo. So when I do my lip liner, I usually don't overline it too much, but I just sort of like fill it in a bit. And then I do my lipstick. So, I really love this colour, it's so nice. And then my favourite, like, bougie gloss is the hourglass one. It's really nice shimmery gloss. Touch-ups wise, if I'm going out, I would usually bring my powder. Um, I'd usually use like a pressed powder, like the Rimmel Stay Matte one. I'd bring my lipstick and a lip gloss. And maybe also the Mario Badescu hydrating mist just to give a bit of a refresher. Like I mentioned before, I would probably be tanned when I'm doing this look, and I would use the Loving Tan Brunch Shimmer Cream on top of the tan to make it even more bronzy. And so I'd usually put this all over my whole body, but just to show you what it looks like, I'm gonna put a bit on my collarbones and like my chest. And I'll just sort of like make it look like. It looks so good. Like you can use your fingers, just blend it in. It gives you like actually really nice color as well if you're not that tanned. Of course I got it on the shelf. And then I didn't really put that much, but like you can see a bit of a glow. It's so pretty. Just definitely recommend that. The rose gold glittery eye. So this is the finished makeup look. As you can see, it's really glowy and bronzy. I've got like a rose gold eye going on. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you recreate it, tag me. And if you have any video ideas for me to do, just let me know and I'll try and do them. Thanks for watching.